Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. And as you probably read in the title, if the heavy bag is spinning, you're probably hitting it wrong. So today we're going to talk about tips and tricks so that you can work on your accuracy, your power, your speed, and hit that heavy bag correctly. Let's take a look. Okay, be honest. Have you ever thrown a kick on the bag and it goes like this, or maybe a punch and the thing starts spinning all over the place? What that means is that you probably didn't hit it directly, you hit it off to the side, or the trajectory of your punch or your kick and the follow through caused it to spin. That's no good. If you do that in a fight, that means it's a glancing shot. It means it didn't hit directly at its target. It slid off. You got Vaseline on, you get sweaty, and you land a punch like that. You want it to be direct. You want to throw a punch, and you don't want that back to spin. You want to throw the kick, and it can push, it can rock, it can go back and forth. But if it starts spinning all over the place, that's a good tell that says you hit it incorrectly. So let's focus on how we can be more accurate with our shots. And the first thing is A to B, B to A. I see this in almost every video when I talk about throwing punches, when I talk about throwing kicks. A lot of people when they hit the heavy bag, they only practice the first half of the punch. Meaning, let's say it's an overhand right. Throw an overhand right, boom. And did you notice that? I only threw one half of the punch. I went like this, and then I just froze, and I stopped. It's gotta be A to B, and then I have to pull it back the same way that it came or as directly as possible, okay? So let's talk about it with the jab. I throw the jab, it goes A to B. Now I need to pull that right back the way that it came, right here. But if I throw at, if I throw with an elliptical path, meaning like I hit it and then I start to follow through and it glances off that way and then it comes looping around, not only am I exposed and probably off balance at this point, but it's gonna take away from the shot itself. Everyone focuses on the follow through, right? Everyone's like, no, when you hit the bag, you gotta follow through. When you hit the target, you gotta follow through. That's true, but what trajectory is your follow through going? If it's a straight punch and I'm going right down the center, then it should be right down the center. It shouldn't be down the center and then off to the side. It shouldn't veer off. It should be A to B and B right back to A. Okay, so when you're throwing your punches, when you're throwing your kicks on the bag, start to focus on that. If the bag is spinning a lot, whether you're throwing multiple kicks, and I do this with teeps all the time, right? Let's say I'm throwing 10 teeps in a row with the left leg, and I go one, two, looking pretty good, oh wait, it's starting to spin. That's a tell that my accuracy is messy, that I'm getting sloppy. And the moment that starts to happen, I don't count those reps. So oftentimes when I practice techniques on the bag, let's say I'm doing 10 teeps, it's 10 perfect reps. So if I go one, okay, two, that one doesn't count. That wasn't three, so I'm still at two. Nope, still at two, still at two. Three, eh, maybe, not too low. Four, okay, so when you start to do that, when you start to do things on the bag, instead of just doing it for time, do it for reps, do it for perfect reps, okay? I'm not gonna stop, I'm not gonna move on to the next drill until I've done 50 perfect kicks or 50 perfect crosses. And it's a good way, like I said, to just make sure that you're being accurate, that you're being powerful, and that you got speed on your shots because being direct A to B and B to A is gonna make it quicker. A lot of people talk about how my technique is so clean, and they're like, how do you get kicks that quick? And I'm like, I don't think my kicks are necessarily that fast. I think it's just the illusion that when I pull my kick back, it makes it look a little bit faster. I'll throw the same speed, watch, two kicks, same exact speed. One, and then here's the second one, same exact speed. Notice that the retraction just creates the illusion that I'm moving a little bit faster, but it gets me into a better position. Now my feet are back underneath me and then I can throw my follow-up punches or kicks. And it's the same thing with the punch, I'm pulling it right back to guard. Okay, so the impact is better, um, got more power on my shots, and I'm a little bit faster. All right guys, thanks for watching. So it's just a good tell. If that bag is spinning all over the place, you gotta control it. Don't let it control you. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.